Oh, good. You're still here. That'll yes. save me another trip. Hi. I'm sorry it took me so long to get to the door. That's okay. You got a couple of minutes? Sure. Good. What is it you want to talk to me about? I have the papers for you to sign. They have to be recorded before your birthday. Um, what papers? Your inheritance. On your birthday, you stand to inherit a sizable chunk of it. I had completely forgotten. Yeah, well, Sam didn't. Sam talked to you about this? Yeah, he called and asked me to execute the power of attorney for him. Power of attorney? What would he need that for? He doesn't, unless something were to happen to you. I didn't have any idea that Sam had even spoken to you about this. Yes, we were talking about some other business, and he told me that the two of you had discussed transferring the power of attorney that I have mm -hmm. of your trust to him. And you think this is the right thing to do? Well, there's no reason not to do it. No, no. By the way, the two of you should consider drawing up wills, and soon, for Allie's sake. I, that had never even occurred to me. Well, it's a real good idea. If, God forbid, something should happen to the two of you, you don't want the probate court to be making all the decisions on Allie's future. No, no, I don't even want to think about that. No, I don't blame you. And you certainly don't have to go into it right now. You don't even have to sign this. But you think that I should? It's completely up to you, Amanda. Well, there's no reason that I shouldn't sign this over, right? Well, your marriage is a little different than most in that... You have more personal wealth than your husband. Yes. And that can get a little tricky uh, for less solid marriages. But you and Sam have things all worked out. Uh, does it have on here where I signed? Yeah, all the X's. Great. Hey, it looks like you're doing some work on the place. Yeah, a little. When Sam told me you'd moved back in, it didn't surprise me at all. This place seems like you guys. It's more of a... A home? Yeah. Yeah, of course, I'm not putting down the Corey Mansion. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's a pretty nice place to live, especially if you're into castles on 40 acres with lakes and pools and <laughs> stables and tennis courts and uh, good mechanicals and uh, fully detailed, mm, et cetera, et cetera. You sound like you have been house hunting. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, after I leave here, I'm meeting Frankie. We're starting today. Really? Yeah. Have you picked a neighborhood? Any place that's not within five miles of the law office. Oh, you want to get away from it all, huh? I am actually thinking about green grass and fresh air. Oh, amazing. I know, can you believe it? <laughs> when I was talking to Sam, he said that things are really starting to look up. Can you stay for a little while? Do you have to meet Frankie right away? I mean, uh, we could have a cup of coffee, wait for Sam to come I'm home. I'm sorry. I, we have to meet that realtor in about a half an hour. Oh. All right, well, maybe another time. Yeah, any other time. So, here... You keep this copy for your re personal records, and I'll see that these are recorded. And that's that. This is time for me to become a land baron. <laughs> well, uh, give Frankie my love. Okay. Yes. See you.